Have you ever thought about how your Medicare Advantage plan may cover cancer treatment? No, I probably haven't unless you've had somebody in your family or maybe even yourself have experienced cancer in the past. Well, I tell you, this is something that you need to really take a look at because over half the people, over half the uh, new cancer diagnoses are in people 65 and older. So what has this got to do with Medicare Advantage? Well, it actually has a lot. And you might even call this video number two on cancer and Medicare Advantage, but stick around, you might learn something. This is Bob Vineyard, your Medicare expert, and we're gonna take a look at Medicare Advantage and cancer. Okay, uh, one of the things you need to know about, there are some specialty treatment centers around uh, around the country. MD Anderson is one that's very well known. City of Hope, formerly known as Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Uh, Mayo Clinic, uh, Sloan Kettering, there's a lot of places like that that are out of network for most Medicare Advantage plans. Now, is that an eye-opener or what? I bet nobody ever told you that when they were trying to sell you this thing that you, know, you may have trouble going to some of these really you know, specialty places, well-known places, should you get cancer. Of course, they're not going to tell you that. Uh, I will tell you that even places where, you, uh, where the, the center is out of network, they may take you as long as you do the legwork and you talk with your Medicare Advantage plan and give them the treatment plan and the, uh, the hospital name and the name of the doctors who are going to be treated, you give them all this information and say, would you agree to cover this? And maybe they will and maybe they won't. But even if they do, they're going to come back and say, most likely going to come back and say, well, as long as they agree to accept our payment schedule. So now you're going back and forth between uh, your Medicare Advantage plan and the cancer center. And all the while you're battling cancer. Now, how much fun is that? Uh, with original Medicare, you're not going to have a problem getting into MD Anderson, Sloan Kettering, Cancer Treatment Center of America, City of Hope. Uh, you're not going to have a problem with original Medicare and a supplement plan. So that's one less headache and one other reason to consider uh, original Medicare and a supplement plan. Now, one thing that you may hear a lot, especially from people who are pushing the Medicare Advantage plans is, well, you know, you really need a cancer policy. Well, if this cancer coverage is so great under this Medicare plan, why do I need a cancer plan? Well, you know, there's some things that cancer may not cover, or I mean, that the Medicare Advantage plan may not cover, or it may not pay all of it, and you could have, you know, uh, several hundred, several thousand dollars. So you need a separate cancer plan from a company that you probably have never heard of, and that's one more claim form to file. Uh, I mean, who needs that kind of hassle when you're sick with cancer? I got news for you. Nobody needs that kind of, hans of hassle. And if you're trying to do this by yourself, it's going to be even more difficult. It's, it's bad enough if your, your spouse or, uh, or a, f a family member is, says, okay, I'll help you with all this paperwork and I'll take you to your treatment and so forth. It's bad enough when you've got somebody helping you, but when you're doing this by yourself, it's not a lot of fun. Think about that. This is Bob Vineyard, your Medicare expert with the Georgia Medicare Minute. You take care. Have a great day.